Alright, what is up people? My name is Ivan, and you're watching Shooterworks, and uh, let's get right into the um, tutorial for today. Uh, I already have my file, uh, my logo loaded up, loaded up in the project. This is After Effects. Um, if you don't have After Effects, you can uh, get it uh, for a free 30 day, uh, one month trial from their website, or you can choose to buy it, or you can have it for free 30 days and then buy it afterwards. Uh, I, I would definitely, <clears throat> uh, if you ask me, this is a, it's a really good price for what this program is. So I really do recommend it. <clears throat> so, uh, let's get started. Uh, sorry, sorry, I've, uh, the, the tutorial a bit delayed because I had a region to study about. Now that the regions are over and I'm into my summer break, uh, let's make this tutorial. And I'll probably be uploading more frequently because I don't got nothing to study for. Uh, so... Let's let's drop this right in here. Now that we have a uh, wait, no, we need to make a composite shot first. A uh, new composite shot. Okay, there we go. Now that we have a composite shot, uh, we can get rid of this one. Okay, there we go. We can drop the uh, logo right on there. Uh, whatever you want to put on there. So th th here it is, right? So now, uh, what you're gonna have to do is um, make a square. So to do that, make sure you're not. If you select it, the, uh, if you select the layer and then make the square, as you notice, it makes a mask. You don't want a mask. So make sure the layer is not selected, meaning it's not highlighted anymore. Now you can easily create a, a square. Uh, and I'm I'm gonna be doing this uh, a bit quickly. Now you can perfect it if you want. Uh, if your After Effects doesn't look like this, it's probably because here is the Project and Fix panel, and the Align panel will be down here, and you, the Preview panel will be all up in here. I have it a bit set up in my way, so it's a bit easier for me to work around uh, work, work in After Effects. So, uh, uh, get, getting back to here, uh, you want to click back on the arrow, and uh, you want to press Y. Wait, no, there, there we go. Now, now as you can see, you just make sure that it's covered. Make sure the logo or whatever you have there is covered. For this transition, um, we can close all these now. Uh, for the uh, transformation over here, you want to check the scale. And you want to press Y, hold Y, and move this right here. And you'll know why. Because you see, if we leave this in the middle, it uh, kind of does it right there. But w what happens if you move this on, uh, on one of these points? It starts to uh, ha let it... And do that so let's press Y you have to you have to hold Y to move this around so now if we do this it, it does this so what you want to do um, since um, if there's a point created here what you want to do is go and um, make it very small unnoticeable all right let's let's make this uh, let's make let's make the the point perfect right there right on point all right so now you want to just go a bit ahead um, maybe around right there Nope. Nah, come on. No, uh, let's wait for this for a minute. Okay, good. So you want to just move a bit forward. There we go. Now what you want to do is uh, you want to uh, close like this. Uh, fill up the logo. Now over here, there's another point created. What you also want to do is press. Uh, don't press this over here. You want to press this over here on this point right here. What you want to do is you want to press uh, on this exact point where you stopped the uh, the, uh, the the the, uh, the scale. You want to press position and anchor. Now that you have position and anchor, that, that what will that do? Is it will uh, move this anchor point. Now you can um, uh, well leave leave the anchor point right there for now. D don't move that. Not yet. You want to move a, a few frames forward, and you want to move your anchor point. Now, as you can see, there's a line developed. Uh, that's because it's telling the anchor point to move from that point to this point. So that's exactly what it's doing. Now, what this is going to be for is uh, it's going to allow us. Now, now you want to come a bit forward, and you want to press. Don't press on the, over here. Don't press the clock again. That will cancel out this whole entire animation. You want to press this dot right here. That will add a new keyframe right there. Come a bit forward, and now what you want to do is let me, let me zoom in. Yeah, let me zoom in now, now what you want to do is uh, move the scale of that 
all the way down right there now now if you watch this uh, so the entry point kind of moves and uh, we don't really want that so let's just keep it up oh, stop messing around stay right there there you go perfect now, now it doesn't really do anything there we go it's perfect now if you take a look at it it's a, it's a bit boring it doesn't look too good we're gonna fix that in a minute you want to press command um, uh, not, not command oops, sorry uh, you want to click this graph editor right here now as you can see well, if you, let's click on the scale as you can see these points they're, they're really straight they're li it's a linear graph you want to right click on that and right click on the Oh, it shows this press ok if it shows that right click and keyframe uh, you can press ease in and then uh, over here l let's watch this again it's not it's not that good but it's 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 something uh, but the the point is uh, I'm gonna make that make that better there we go there we, go. we, we can leave it right here but for a bit more uh, precise editing press ok right click you can add creep and velocity press enter or okay now if you uh click on it and uh, oops okay press okay now if you move this over like this make sure the green line is straight because let's say the green line is not straight the result that you will get is it will shrink uh, on the other sides so you're going to make sure the green line is totally straight and uh that effect is just going up so that, that's what you want to do. You want to just make sure that the green line, make sure this doesn't go above the green line, stays below the green line, and doesn't go up and then go down again. Make sure it doesn't do that. Make sure it just, wait, let me, let's try that. Let me see that. Oh, whoops. Uh, let's move this all the way right there. Well, it's it's kind of nice, but it's not too good. So what we're going to do is we're going to just, just, just keep it, uh, just keep it right there right there now, now let's watch this now as you can see as a smooth it comes in smoothly it's beautiful you want to do the same over here so I'm gonna go through this a bit quicker uh, because I, I taught you that so yeah I'm gonna go do this a bit quicker to make this tutorial quicker okay now what we want to do is keyframe velocity enter now we can uh, we want to have it a bit uh a bit on this side there you go now to have it end quick make sure that's straight now let's watch this there you go perfect now over here you can go out of the gra uh, graph editor and uh, you can make this full and it, make sure to cut this all the way down right there now you wanna make cut that uh, that's fine what you want to do over here with the logo is cut the logo to where the the, the, the square is filling up the whole um, the whole the whole logo. So as you can see, it looks nice. So what you can do with this uh, logo here is now uh, what you can do is uh, basically just uh, ch edit it, change it around. Uh, what you want to do is add a fill. Go up here, search fill. Now you get a, a fill right here. You can add the fill. Uh, uh, the fill it looks like has been applied. As you can see over here on the uh, effect controls, it says fill. It's red. You have to change that to uh, whatever color you want. I wanted it a bit gray. That's what I, that's what I did with mine. I will also uh, make sure when you go to contents, rectangle, stroke. Make sure the stroke is at zero. Uh, make sure these uh, the stroke width is zero, and you can also put the opacity at zero if you want. Um, that that takes out the uh, the annoying edges that uh, the white edges that we were getting. We don't want that. So now that it's, uh, you made one, uh, make sure this is selected, not this. If you if you press Shift D over there, uh, it, it, what it does is it ends up uh, duplicating the the fill. So we don't want that. Make sure it's selected on this Command D. Now now it duplicates that. Now when you go over here, since we had the fill command, it's a bit easier to change the color. So I'm going to change the color to right there. 
Now move it a bit more back. Command D, move it back more again. Now change the color again, and I'm gonna change it to something that looks something like white. Now actually, you know what, let's put the white underneath. And then move that one right there. Let's check that out. Now let's watch this. Perfect. Now uh, we're done with the transition. I, I basically did the same thing for the text that went down here, then the same thing for closing it off. Oh yeah, for closing it off, what you can do is basically, uh, it's, it's gonna be a bit different, but it's basically almost the same uh, process. Uh, what you basically do is, yeah, you can lower the, no, no never mind, not that. Uh, you, you have to also find out where this ends now, right there. So right there, you end the uh, the logo. Now, if we watch this whole thing, as you can see, it, it's nice, smooth, perfect. Now, if you want to know how to uh, export this in into uh, no background, you press the uh, the toggle transparency grid here, and now, as you can see, it's it's it has a transparency grid, and. Uh, yeah, uh, you can see uh, if there's no background, make sure you don't have a background. Make sure there's no solid. Make sure these are the only layers over here. Oops, command Z. So under that. All right. So now to export it, uh, what you want to do is file, uh, file, up up here, uh, export, and you want to export it to add to render queue. Now, if you come over here to the render queue, uh, you want to click on lossless. And you want to change this RGB to RGB alpha. For the format, I'm a Mac user, so I don't really have to do anything. I can leave it in quick time. I believe the Windows users have to uh, edit the format a bit, but uh, you can leave the format and just first try uh, RGB alpha and see if that works. And if it doesn't, then try a different format. If it doesn't work for you in Windows on uh, Max, this should work. Change it from RGB to RGB plus alpha. Now, uh, you basically, it's it's done. And uh, make sure that the the ending. Uh, one minute. If, if I do, if you see this uh, clip right here, you want to change this to where the logo ends, or else it will render out this whole thing, and it'll, it'll just be useless. It'll be a waste of a uh, uh, waste of uh, space in your computer. So make sure it's uh, it ends. Oh, whoops. Command Z. Alright. Okay. Let's try rendering this. Yep, it's rendering it. All right. There we go. Uh, that's good. Now, now you can stop it here. I, I, what did I do? Okay, good. You can stop it when it's done. Uh, now, now we have it. It's good. Let me check if it, uh, if it, if it got finished. I believe it was in movies. Right there. It's, it's finished today. Okay. Let's watch this. Uh, uh, so now that that's done, let's watch it. Uh, Now, if we take a look at it, uh, don't, don't don't save. It doesn't really matter. Uh, what, if we do, this does work in a uh, Final Cut Pro and uh, a lot of other softwares are tested. Uh, so what we want to do is we can make a new composition, new composition, okay. And now we can drop this into the projects and see if it works. Uh, no project right there. Project. Drop that in. There we go. We have it in the project. And let me see if there's a clip. Uh, let's drop that on there. Uh, let's move it forward. Now, if, if we watch this through, wait, no, move out. Oh, I think it's a uh, press S. Oh, we can scale it down. I think we have to scale it. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Now, if we watch this through, you know, if you watch this through, this is how it, it goes. As you can see, no background. Uh, I'm playing it on top of another photo. You can play it on anything you want. So it's it's basically fine whatever you want to play it on. So this is basically uh, uh the whole tutorial. Thank you all for watching. Once again, my name is Zohib. You're watching Shearworks. Don't forget to check out After Effects and other Adobe products that I really enjoy. And cut.